Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise. So I usually make this video when there is a major change in my account and uh, when the day seems right. So right now it is on my 10th day. Oops, I pressed the wrong one. It is my 10th day right now. Um, what's called reset was about three hours ago or two hours ago. So I was able to play a bit, but uh, yeah, this is my 10th day of logging into the game. I want to go ahead and show you guys my account. Um, from last time, there has been a couple of changes, especially with the characters I own, um, as well as my weapons as well, because obviously I carried on summoning and obviously my progression has also improved significantly as well so that's what we're going to be doing and you know taking a look at in today's video so hopefully you guys enjoy this video stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise if you guys don't want to miss out on future content on this game because i will be releasing guides i've made a lot of guides on the game already more guys will be coming out as well so if you guys don't want to miss out uh, miss out on those guys make sure you are subscribed and make sure that post notification is on now if you guys enjoyed this video you like you like you know want to ask a question then go ahead and leave the question down in the comment section but if you guys enjoy this video generally go ahead and like the video let's go ahead and get 60 likes in today's video go ahead and show your support to the channel okay so in terms of my challenge i am on the last one so i have actually gotten the last duplicate actually it was in this one i got the last duplicate of the weapon that is given to us for free so yeah i've got to the last duplicate now honestly i do want to get one more duplicate of this weapon because he does have a way to uh, you know recover hp so look at this when you have three dupes when um current hp is below 60 percent recover 0.4 percent of current hp with heavy hits which is actually good because this weapon obviously consumes hp but having a way to recover hp is also going to be very very good um so i might actually go in and aim for some duplicates of this weapon but as you can see i'm currently in the last chapter which is chapter 15 which i will go ahead and show you guys right now we will take a look at my characters and my weapons because there has been a little bit of a change in that as well but first going over to my story and like i said i am currently in chapter 15 now it's actually very hard um i had to reset re 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 i had to do this like three times oh in terms of my power level this is it over here now i did have to do a little change in some of my characters uh, oh yeah this is the characters i own and i recently got this unit so lee bora how did i get her well i topped up uh five days in a row i guess you could say um obviously in the bonus section let me go ahead and show you guys right now uh, bonus section she is right here so i did get her from here and i do not want any extra copies for her um i think she's a good dark character honestly i don't think she's the worst ssr in the game i think the worst ssr honestly it has to be the uh, let's go over to codex i think the worst ssr in general is probably this guy i mean the only thing i like about his kit is literally the stun in here this, this is the only thing like that i like about him his qte sucks um, because there's a chance of missing it's the one when he throws a rock it sucks it honestly misses it's really bad now out of all the characters i'm missing as you can see i'm only missing two characters i am missing seo jiru also if you guys can't tell already i top up in this game if you want to know how much i spent in total i believe it's about 110 pounds um or 115 pounds uh which isn't a lot um usually my, like i say i usually say this every time but every time i play gacha games i usually have a tendency to spend a lot more than this but i'm happy with the current money i've spent in the game now obviously i would love to spend more money to get cog ru simply because i do need her to clear one content that i find very very hard and she is one of the best characters to have and i want to make a really good team with her um unfortunately without her it's is going to be a little bit difficult now i am saving for cha um i have some essence stones and what's not i have enough resources basically to go through one rotation five six seven actually i'm a little bit over i'm close to getting one rotation um and if i don't get her then i will carry on uh spending i do want to buy the battle pass obviously that's the one thing i think is definitely worth buying in this game uh the battle pass is insane especially the deluxe side not this side not the premium one i'm talking about the deluxe over here with the 63 tickets that would be very very helpful for charhane and i really do hope i get her um when she comes out when is the banner coming out i am not sure it's probably gonna be after the end of choice banner um but we have to wait and see okay so uh you guys see my hunters in terms of uh the ones i have now i am gonna level her up because oh my days my gold is gone guys if i level her up i am broke i am dead as broke oh my days 
Do I even need her now? I don't think I need her now. She is a good dark character. If I want to fight um, Igris, Ingris, Igris. Actually, no, I need. Actually, yeah, I could use her. So this is. She has no healing. So if I was to fight Igris, it would be her. Nah, I don't need her really. I really don't need her. She is good for like the charm effect, which it basically allows you to increase damage um, done to the enemy by 15%, which is good in general. But um, I think I'm fine without her. Now, I will obviously want to test her out, but it's going to be a while. So, yeah. We have the free character. I have these two units I'm working on right now. In terms of development on them. So this is Liam Taegun's uh, power. Now I had to change his build a little bit. Before I was focusing on break. But this, this gear over here is the best gear for him. It's honestly really really good for him. Increasing the basic attack. And increases his charge core gauge or whatever. Which is actually very very good. Now instead of this you could probably go with the... Uh, where is this? The one I gave to my Song Jin Wu. You could go with this one, but it doesn't help with uh, increasing your attack damage of your basic attack, which he does spam his basic attack a lot. So I think this is one of the best gears for him. I will make videos going over each individual hunters and the best gear for them. So wait for that video to come out. So there he is. Um, yeah, this is my investment in him. I have, since I know he's a character that scales off normal attack or like damage in general. If you take a look at his hit rate, 25%, which isn't bad, obviously, for the really crappy artifacts and gear I have on him. So what I decided to do is go ahead and give him this gear as well, which basically, after I did a crit hit, he has a 25% chance to increase attack by a certain amount. So, hey, this will be beneficial. Uh, for him, I do want to change his build, obviously. Like I said, for supportive character, I think this is one of the best build you can use. But as you can see, I don't have the right... I don't have any extra gear. Oh, I do. I do. Perfect. Wait, do I have the headpiece? I do have the headpiece, but it's a lower rarity. Oh, I do. okay, I got one. Okay, the gloves. Please tell me I have a glove available. So how is it meant to look like? A song junior is meant to look like this. I don't have the gloves. Okay, so that's going to be my priority next. What about the boots? I don't have the boots either. So boots and gloves. Those are stuff I want to get. Perfect, perfect. Okay, cool, that's fine. For him, I'm gonna change his build later on. Um, in terms of skills and, you know, this is it. Oh, from, I have two, one SSR weapon, which is this one over here. Um, I got it from the event, obviously, it increases the user's attack by 5%. Um, I am trying, or oh, I wanna craft a weapon, an SSR weapon, pretty soon. And I think I'm gonna go for Emma's, uh, but I don't have any of this stuff like mana stones i could buy this then i'm only going to be missing this thing over here i have three out of four i am not sure where to get the extra one except from the store in the exchange shop let me go ahead and show you what i mean i will show you guys my weapons as well sorry about that but um if i go over to oh wait i could buy oh, i don't have any of that currency actually never mind nope not this it's here so I could buy this, but I don't have 150 of this, and I would have to sell my SR weapons for Song Ji Wu, even though some of them are actually useful. Now I could get this as well, seven. Uh, I need one more basically. So I eventually should be able to craft a weapon, but it's gonna take a while for that to happen. In terms of my army of shadows, this is it right here. I have three shadows unlocked. If you guys are wondering which of the uh, which shadow you should go for after having Agris, I think the second one you should go for is gonna be Tank because of that stun. That stun is actually very very useful only one second though but in general as well the attack is also pretty good compared to if you went with ion who he does have um sorry i have to go over to codex let's go over to ion so ion over here does have this over here which decreases defense which is good for your attack um but in general look at the attack percentage it doesn't really provide you much so eventually you probably want to get him but Let's take a look at max actually. What's the extra stuff he gets? Shield equal to. Ooh, that's actually good, but it's gonna take you a lot of investment before you even do that. I get 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 that. So all you get is a max HP. So I prefer the stun, honestly. Okay, that is my shadows. Now going over to my weapons. I got a slight up um, imp upgrade in my weapons. I got duplicate for this. I'm not sure if I showed you guys last time. I got dupe for this. This the only SSR weapon I am missing is the uh what's it called? It's the, let me go ahead and show you right now. So weapons, 
rage are those weapons there we go so it's this one the vulcan rage that's the only one i'm missing so uh i definitely would like to get this obviously it's a fire weapon ssr all of the ssr weapons are insanely good and definitely must have um so i definitely want that in terms of hunter i want cg Wu. if you go over to my draw right now i have put cg Wu there honestly i probably should take him off I, I probably should take him off actually and i'm gonna put probably this because i do want that last one it would make the scythe even better to use so i probably will go for that because having a second dupe for this will only basically increase water damage by 10 percent which nope i don't want and then the same thing will be for dark so the second one would be increasing dark attack so i think i definitely want dupes for this one actually actually but i don't, I don't want it to be the next thing i get honestly and for this one, I think I only have, I don't have a dupe for this, right? I only have one copy. Where is the weapon? Yeah, I don't have a dupe, so I don't mind getting a dupe, I guess. But I definitely want the character. I want the character, mainly. And um, my gold is going out the window. So how am I going to get gold? I probably would be forced to top up. And uh, what would I buy, actually? Let me, let me see quickly. What would I buy? It's probably going to be, not this one, sorry. It's going to be one of this ones. So the story pack probably 17 d -d 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 -d, probably this or no not that. It, that okay maybe this one so 5 10 15 20 25 yeah probably this one i get a how many gold do i get so this is 50 that's one two three four five so 500k from here how many would i get if i bought this ones over here yeah i definitely should buy that so yeah it's gonna be a while if i buy that stuff obviously but that is probably what i'm gonna do next oh i do need to focus on hard mode i actually neglected that so my current level right now is 40 something i've forgotten so i do so i could go through this one but i have hard mode to do as well actually so i'm gonna progress in this one as well because I should be able to do this so i'm currently level 48 i'm pretty sure if i've progressed through hard mode i should be able to get to level 49 and then hopefully 50 as well so let's end off this video i think i showed you the weapon showed you my character showed you my progression oh when it comes to fighting the other modes let me show you so instance dungeon i am currently at tier 6 for agris as that's what i'm fighting and tier 6 for the lycan as well and then when it comes to the uh end core missions the ones i'm really farming is the cerberus and the this this chick the arachnid however this is difficult as f oh my days this is so hard i need that uh, i need that chick the water chick i need her ceo i need her to be able to do tier six i absolutely need her so yeah that's very hard to do the lichen is easy i should be able to do this one as well so it's gonna I'll, I'll, I'll work on that later on and then we have the power of destruction now last one i actually came fifth i think so this person free meal nah that's not good you usually want to do this towards the end of the season so that you guys already like powered up enough so yeah you basically just want to try get six five six mil there's no way is that free meal how okay maybe okay whatever um so yeah last time fire number five i'm pretty sure i could have gone higher as well but i just i couldn't be bothered so i just stopped right there yeah i should have gone higher i just stopped right there i, I didn't have time for this it's the last 20 hours i was like nah i'm good so yeah okay previous division rank oh yes that's the same thing so the world i got was this one over here with this i didn't get any of the top ones over here all I got, I think, was this, which was sucky. No one wants that. And I think that's pretty much all you guys are interested in. Ah, okay, let's take a look at the amount of summons I've done. I think you guys definitely want to see that. Oh, nearly 800. Nearly 800. Okay. Okay, okay, that's cool. So if I do another one, I get free. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. And what else? Codex, no. Crafting, you guys don't care about that. Special commissions, you don't care battle class yeah you guys don't care probably i think that's pretty much it so i will definitely carry on progressing i definitely should be able to reach 49 by today by the end of today let me go to my song Jin Ru. yeah definitely 49 definitely 
should be able to get to 49. I want to get to level 50 simply because of blessings. If you take a look at Song Jin Woo, you unlock another slot for blessings, which would be very, very impactful. Um, I've got some really terrible blessings so far. The only one that I, I, I like is this one over here with the immortality and you gain. Everyone likes this one. But I want one that increases my attack. Uh, but none of them does, except this one, which ain't that great. The damage you take will decrease by. Yeah, this is not that great. I need better blessings, honestly. It's garbage. So, um, is there a way I can get extra blessings? Is there like stuff I can buy in store? Not, not actually in game. I'm taking a look at the exchange shop. Let's see. This one does not have it. Weapon one does have it. Oh, oh, but it's the ugh, it's this one. Okay, that sucks. What about this one? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yep. I am. Um, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Not sure. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more content on solo leveling and rise. Let me know down in the comment section your progression as well, your own account as well, how far you guys have pushed, how good is your account and whatnot. It's been your boy AC Gamer. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm out.